brings here. Wow, this year went by fast. It seems just like yesterday was busting out of the $10,000 2022 WPT main event. So us back in the parking garage, approximately an hour after we got here, probably means things didn't go too well here for the day two restarts. Filming the documentary was fun though. More on that later. Definitely makes more for more interesting vlogs, yeah. as do losing sessions. <laughs> yeah, sessions where you get like washed are the best. Yeah, like, <laughs> they always perform well for whatever reason. <laughs> so much better. The so. greatness of 3 5 Suited was also explored numerous times this year. One day, you folks will learn welcome in this position, then the granddaddy of them all the 3 5 Suited. Action is folded around to me, and the under the gun straddle is back on. The straddler being the same gentleman that limped in the hijack a few hands prior. We make it $50 and he calls. The two of us again see a flop. Heads up. The flop? Three, three, deuce with two diamonds. Well, of course it is. Three, five suited, flopping a straight flush because that's what it does. <laughs> I briefly changed formats for a few hands and detailed what I thought opponent's holdings were. It was tedious during the editing process, but I may bring this back occasionally. There's always one, you know, we stop to do a mid session update and like people just will come by and bother you. Bunch of fans here. Let me say hi to some fans. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Do y'all remember when I released a hidden vlog that was only accessible during the end credits? Okay. Well, don't tell anyone and I'll let you watch part two. Eight nine of hearts. Believe it or not, I'm not impervious to human emotion. I went on full blown tilt in one episode. DEFCON one. Blast off is imminent. Full meltdown in progress. Flush the bombers, get the subs in launch mode. We are at DEFCON 1. DEFCON 1. Earlier in the year, a player bluffed me and I did a deep dive into his entire psyche. From this one hand, I can tell a lot about this man. You need to understand he's that everything you do at the poker table conveys information. He's apparently seeking approval from strangers, most likely because his father left the family when he was a young child. Game. Pay the cost, now you making your name You can maneuver, move around Now they ready for war, they ready for change Head down, gotta stay in your lane Keep. What else do I have to say? If you like the vlogs, like the vlogs <laughs> Hit that button, share You just say it Do all the things If you like the vlogs, like the vlogs Leave a comment, I might get back to you Probably Also, Lily won her first circuit ring I want to give a big shout out to Lily Newhouse. Did I do it? Oh my God, did I do it? Who <gasps> won her first circuit ring. Who has been worse for humankind? Kanye West or Ace King Offsuit? New evidence leads us to believe. 
I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. Damn it. I should have just blocked. You smell You smell what? I don't have anything to say. You got nothing to say? Not really. Nothing to say? No. Oh, Alright. He comes out with guns blazing in the form of a $1,600 shove. Come on, clap your hands! It doesn't seem that long ago, but it was February when I played on Poker Out Loud, dealt with the annoying button straddle, and tilting villains that wanted to change seats. And we dipped our toes into the 1020 streets. I also tried to fly to Austin to save my buddy Brad, but that didn't work out. I table my hand and she frustratingly throws her hand in the muck. She then asked me if I wanted to change seats. What's that? Switch seats? No. Oh. Your extreme poker prowess would take care of you in a seat where you're going to So sitting down in this 5 10 20 game, I'm not yet comfortable. Right there. We're going to go inside. We're getting ready to film season 9, I believe, of Poker Out Loud, uh, this hand in particular is a clear fold, but I don't feel like folding and we're just going to take this to the streets. We're going to see if we can flop something good. And um, I'm not going to tell you how we did because then if I tell you how we did, there's no need to watch the whole thing. But take a look at my face. Do I look upset? Do I look upset? About a week later, we are sitting around the house watching the newly revamped Lodge live stream, and our buddy Brad isn't having the best go of it. We don't like it. We don't like it not one bit. I need to head to Austin. I need to head to Austin to rescue him. This is a job for Super, Super Jamin. Nine hours after arriving at the airport, they cancel the flight and offer me a $50 voucher for another flight that has to be used by May. Are you serious? We have 10 big ones. We need to double The small blind limps, as do I with King Six suited and the straddler raises to $45. The small blind comes along and I do mainly because I think the one seat is still playing too many hands and playing them passively at that. I don't think it'll be very hard to take this pot from him if this board favors me. Three of us see King Six Jack with two hearts. The small blind checks and, well, this board, although not favoring my range, hits my exact hand damn hard. We don't have the betting lead though, so we check with designs on check raising. The straddler bets and it's a big one. Full pot, $130. The small blind folds and now action is back on me. His full size pot bet is a little concerning. If we choose a normal size check raise, followed by him calling, this pot will get super bloated quickly. So we check raise smaller. We make it $300 to go. What I expected was a call. I never thought he would fold as his flop bet size is screaming, I have something. What I didn't expect was him to tank shove for almost $1,000. My hand blocking two sets is nice here. He could have a flush draw and he could have jacks, but such is life. We call his shove pretty quickly. The turn brings the deuce of spades and the river the six of diamonds giving me a full house. He exposes the first runner-up hand, an ace-king offsuit. We table our hand, and we're done with his button straddles for the rest of this session. Uh, it is that time of year for the GPI Poker Awards. Your boy, again, me, has been nominated for Poker Vlogger of the Year. We're There's a small handful of people that really pushed me off the cliff and gave me the faith in myself to do it. Those people are Jamin Burton, Andrew Nimi. Christian Soto and Poker Face Ash. I love you, Poker Face Ash. So we came. We tried. 
He won it. Next year, Damon. You're always on the ballot. It's consistent. It's been next year. It's been next year for the last four fucking years. <laughs> so, congrats to this man for winning everything every time he shows up any place. All right, we're out, buddy. You are literally the grandfather of vloggers, and these motherfuckers need to give you your W. Two players went heads up to a flop of King, Queen, Jack, and to make a long story short, I would have won a gigantic pot. Hey, Jamin, how's it going? Oh, hey, Rampage. Meh. I forgot to film an opening sequence for my vlog, so I guess it's just going to start with hand histories with no context. Feels lame. How long have you been doing this again? Hmm, I don't know, like five years? See, a real vlogger would never forget something like that. This is why you aren't vlogger of the year. Do better, man. By March, the vlog contained more range charts and educational type material than it had ever previously most likely due to the amount of time that I, myself, was spending looking at these things. In this hand, I opened the cutoff with 9-8 offsuit. I'm a little concerned here. We can clearly see that 9-8 offsuit is not a thing from the cutoff. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Hey, I've been watching your vlogs, and I noticed you open 4-5 suited a lot. You know it only opens like half the time from the low jack, right? Oh, hey, Landon. Yeah, I know, but I don't get it half the time. There's one thing I want you to do for me. What? Come here. What? Win. Poker is all about chasing your dreams, taking your shot, and changing your life. You don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be, you know, in as good a shape as me. April brought the release of the poker documentary Dreamers, and that was super cool. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link in the description. Jada! As many of you know, one of my main driving forces that started me creating vlogs was the idea that my then eight now newly 14 year old daughter would look back at them with fondness one day. She let me know in April that wasn't happening. Yes. Hey, I need to step out for a few hours. Want to hang out with Lily and Ace for a while? Sure. Wait, are you going to go film your little videos that you think I'm going to watch when I get older? I like going to Lily's, but I assure you, I'm not going to watch your poker videos like, ever. You have something to say? <laughs> Jada doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> this is the greatest advertising opportunity since the invention of cereal. A session of 1020 turns into 1020 40 80, and I catch the worst run out ever. I know I don't have a spade. This sucks. I expose my hand, and to my surprise, our villain says, That's good. Watch how I move. Watch how I put it on clothes. I hit different. Can't do what I do. Okay, watch how I move. Big talk is on track. Don't snooze on it. Talk to you better. Come in the low. Yeah, watch how I move. A vlog fan and a director at Funko sent me custom Funko Pop figurines, figures, you know, the dolls. He sent me custom Funko Pops of me, Lily, and Jada. We call them figures, not figures. dolls. We don't call them dolls, Jamie. You I should know I, that. I call them dolls because I'm a real man. And a real man isn't ashamed to call them dolls. This was probably the best thing that happened all year. And it happened in April. I won a bomb pot. My first trip to Hustler Casino in LA turned out to be very profitable. 
not only for me, but also my buddy Christian Soto. $54,000. $54,000. I'm walking around with an extra 500 in my pocket and he's rich. Three bet more. If not for you, do it for me. Let's get these pots heads up. Creating low jack calls, hijack calls, small blind calls, graphics, ad nauseum? It kind of sucks. Hold on, then I didn't look. Can I make it 80? Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. I looked. I really <laughs> didn't look. He saw the. Yeah, no, he doesn't look. Can I, make it I looked. I okay. I, was... I truly didn't look. You look at me, you can still make a little six if you want to. I don't know. Seriously? I truly didn't look. I showed no, you. No, 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 no. You didn't look. I truly didn't look. Can I make a one six? Y'all look? I haven't looked. I haven't touched them. I believe you, and yes. The sleeper? Oh the my god. Time. I'm so glad to be out of this room. I also haven't looked. <laughs> You haven't? They just I don't know what I am I allowed to do things from here? Yeah, it's, probably, it's, it's probably pretty bad. You are allowed to do whatever you want. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my Yeah, look. Yeah. I, I recommend looking. <laughs> from this spot I think I'm gonna You know the urine is gonna ruin the fun. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. He knows exactly he has a chart of what to do in this spot. I'm not trying to like what? Should you look at what? On my hand. I don't know. You want to know it? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, gotta get a wave. This is just me and you? Oh, okay. Do you check or what? Sure. The hardest okay, go. I'm checking flop. You check it flop? I'm, che I'm checking flop. Yeah. You check it flop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check, check your thing? Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna give okay, you. Okay, now the poker starts. There's a word. Okay, yeah. okay I'm fair enough. Oh, that feels like me. I'll check. I have a look. Doesn't matter. I'm looking. I gotta look now. It's, yeah, it's, okay. I'm nervous. Like, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you just give him a hug? I did just give a hug, yeah. Oh. Like, oh, yeah Why are you so bad, man? Yeah. Um, did you play the yeah. Oh, oh okay. we're getting behind the scenes. That's what's happening. I swear to God, he saw it. Sally told us to go. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. I call. I call. Whatever you do. <laughs> You know what? Nice to me also. Did you? I'm just going to go ahead and get in line right now. This game is kind of getting out of control. Clubs. I expose my hand and he mumbles, you got it. And I scoop my biggest pot of this session. Also met my longtime internet friend, Courtney Hamilton. So Courtney and I took off and headed to Hollywood Park. I'm so excited. I finally made the vlog. I found you a world brand new. In hindsight, I could probably raise in this spot, but my in-game decision was just to call. The big blind folds quickly, and now the straddler is in the tank. And I don't like this at all. In late May, I experimented with adding more drama and emotion to hands via lighting, music, real time footage, and animation. About 40 seconds later, he thankfully finds the fold. The button says nine high. Yeah. I'm fucking retarded. And I dragged my biggest pot of the night. Jamin, that was then. This is now. Forget about yesterday. Today's different. You're right. You're right. Found a battle, I can't face it on my own. And I need to find a song to help me carry on. June. Oh, June. We experienced a lot of pain in this month. We also use that pain to dive deeper into study. Enter hybrid poker. Eight of diamonds, eight of hearts. The low jack checks. This flop is pretty benign. I continue for $150 and the low jack thinks, then just moves all in covering me. 
I snap call off my remaining eight hundred and fifty dollars. You probably you got me then. Kings. I thought you might be playing like an ace king ace queen. Let's go. Yeah, that's like twelve yeah. hundred. Let's let's go. Yeah. Less than one hundred so. Yeah. Let's just go. That's, that's the just call. Go to the, just go to the room. Oh, I sucked out. It happens. Nice hand. And that was that. Graveyard shift, I hate it. Uh -huh. Six in the morning, I'm off, I made it. When I get home, I'ma make this clear. First thing I'ma drink is a rainy beer. There was a big bet poker appearance that never aired. A party during a filming of Poker Night in America. Yeah. Uh, woke up to another day. Where we going? I don't know, but I'm on the way. Yeah, gotta keep it on a high note. I tank on this one for a while and getting four bet by my girlfriend, also in June. Today, we're going to talk about how we can find out and how much we can find out and what it takes to get there. So first, we have to decide how much do we want to find out. And fold. I entered a couple tournaments this summer. Uh, I didn't win. Yo, get out of my face. What are you even here for, man? You don't play tournaments. You're just like walking around doing this shit with this camera. Like, what are you doing? And Ryan DePaula. <laughs> Why is it that Caitlyn Jenner doesn't know any countries other than the U.S.? Why? Because she's never really been abroad. <laughs> this is the fact that we find ourselves outside back on Fremont Street and um, we aren't on tournament break doesn't bode well. You might want to consider the powder actuated tool. The Hilti DX460MX or the Simpson PT. <clears throat> Let's go. <clears throat> Let's roll. In July, I got written permission to film at MGM Properties. I raced to Bellagio. <laughs> Got him. In the anum that now unfolds, old English Jamin hath graced our midst with his inaugural presence. Hark! In this stage of play, the early position player hath ventured forth with a wager of $30.